Hey, welcome to the video. My name is Isaac. I'm with AGE Electric here in uh, Vancouver, Washington. Uh, I want to go over a new system we just did for a client here. This is our EG4 Grid Boss, and we have whole home backup um, with three uh, wall mount batteries and a EG4 Flex Boss 21. Uh, currently, we do not have PV set up on the project, but we are built in and ready for it in the future. So what we have out here is we did a quick service change with the meter. As you can see, the grid boss is rated to be outside, so is the flex boss, but all equipment is always going to be better inside so and be last longer. So we had uh, swapped out a meter main, so we have a main breaker outside so we can isolate the entire system and we also added a uh, distribution on this so we could put a surge device ahead of all equipment um, adjacent to it is our energy storage system emergency disconnect per code we got a push button twist release um, on normally closed contacts for the rsd so that is outside now because we uh, put a meter main out that then made this uh, house panel a sub panel instead of the point of service so we had to go through and separate all the grounds from the neutrals and then we uh, took off the existing electrodes I personally like to use an irreversible uh, compression crimp to then relocate um, the old electrode which is the ground rods outside I did find them also, um, but we did install two new ones. And again, I just, grounding and bonding is important. So with the existing one, I pounded two new ones, one up there, one down here. This was the existing, so I caught an irreversible uh, crimp there and one inside. And we also mounted a new intersystem uh, bonder if they need not always a requirement but nice to have keeps the system nice and clean so this is the inside we have all our covers off We're getting ready for inspection here um, we have all copper conductors so our challenge was getting from inside the wall uh, to outside the wall so we could go surface mount so we just got a deep box recessed it in nippled through the side so we're coming from the meter main outside in down our conduit over up into the grid location what is marked grid on the flex boss and then we come back out of the backup load comes in up terminates on the breaker so again separated grounds and neutrals um, and then we took out Mounted all the breakers with that came with the uh, uh, grid boss. These are the BSB breakers, so they are not. This was version two, so they you cannot utilize the Eaton breakers yet, and or any aluminum conductors in this model yet. The version three does allow for Eaton breakers and a properly sized aluminum wiring uh, on lugs and Eaton breakers, but not on B. Uh, SB breakers, which is what they these are actually B3S, but that's what's provided with the grid boss. So, anyways, on the bottom, we have uh, we had to relocate a receptacle that was behind where the grid was at or the uh, gutter was at. So, we just covered that up, came through. We have a nice clean gutter on the bottom, nipple through. So, we have um. A nice clean install so we came out with three one inch conduits along the wall here running a 90 amp uh, feeder over to the flex boss here currently the LCD panel display will be mounted on the dead front but we have everything open again like I said for uh, inspection so battery cables are terminated behind everything's nice and clean we had to make up a couple com cables for the flex boss and the grid boss to talk to each other 
uh, and customize the size. Other than that, nippled the battery gutters together. Again, we have uh, one for a comm chase, one for battery cables, and then a spare. So if we were to want to add another uh, flex boss and bring these two in parallel, have this one the master and this one uh, the slave to it, that can just get mounted right there and double the output for the system. So again, PV will be in the future, but our PV inputs would be in here if we're doing um, uh, some DC strings. And if we want to AC couple, which is a wonderful uh, option with the grid boss, we can AC couple in the uh, grid boss. And we also have a future port for a generator uh, to be connected into the system. Again, uh, for this version, we'd have to order the BSB breakers. Um, we would not be able to just utilize Eaton breakers, even though they fit, doesn't mean it's always right. So uh, I gotta follow manufacturer's instructions, but it's a pretty clean install. We went through commissioning yesterday, uh, did system tests and shutdowns. Everything is good to go. Um, I believe this uh, solution that EG4s came up is uh, quite good, alleviates a lot of extra, um, you know, the switches and building the system without having that grid boss is, well, it's pretty good. Anyways, uh, if you like the install, if it gave you any ideas, um, give us a thumbs up, hit the, uh, hit the subscribe, let us know. Um, I got to throw a couple tie wraps on in here and there because I'm a little OCD, but yeah, this is a basic rundown, nice clean install, uh, for a home backup, whole home backup. Thank you.